All right, nice. Some commenters have asked me how I'm going to get the wires in since I didn't run a string inside the conduit. And so here's a string and I just tied on a plastic bag to the end and I'm going to stuff it down in this. Now on the other end I'm going to go turn on a shot back. to the end uh, and I ran into a little bit of a snag I think some water got in uh, to the conduit and uh, froze overnight so what I tried to do to clear that is I pressurized the conduit from the garage side because the garage is warm so I'm blowing warm air through the conduit and at first no no air was m moving through or very little and then it started picking up and then it started spitting out water into the combiner box. So that's why I took the combiner box off here uh, temporarily, uh, just at the expansion fitting. It has now stopped spitting out water and the air is blowing through here like crazy. So I think we're cleared. So we're now going to try uh, sucking a new string through. It's on the suction side now, so it will suck air. So here's less bag and let's try that see how it just pulled that in I want to make sure that the water is out of here so that's why I'm gonna pull the rag through I'm also feeling this the string and it feels like it's coming out dry yeah so I think we're all set Okay, so now we're sucking again. So next I'm going to try to pull some webbing through the PVC uh, because it is softer on the corners than the small twine is. So notice right there where I was pulling this string, it was cutting the plastic. That's why I'm switching over to webbing. It does it severely here because it's right at a sharp 90, but it does that everywhere and eventually can cut through all the bends. Well, I have the webbing down in the conduit and I'm ready to reinstall the uh, combiner box so I'm just going to slip this in the other way. So now we've got this guy coming out. Next I'm going to have to configure something so that it'll uh, feed the wires down in there because I'm going to be pulling from the other end. So I'm just trying to get some support so that I can uh, put the coils of wire up here and feed them down. Go. That should be strong enough. All right, I got a, 
a big chunk of PVC up here, uh, but when I'm pulling, it's going to want to roll back in. So I think I'm ready to put the wires up here. Eleanor, you can't be right there. <laughs> So I got three coils, each 104 feet long. This is six gauge copper, THHN. So on one of these, I'm going to mark it with some red tape. So I'll just uh, grab this one here. This way I'll have a positive and negative. actually kind of heavy. <laughs> uh oh, she's at the camera. Oh no. There's one other thing that I want to add to this, and that's uh, this string. Uh, just in case there's some reason I want to pull another grate. So, now what you can see is I staggered the end of each wire and I ran the webbing up and then looped it back on itself, taping the whole way. So I used like half a roll of electrical tape, but that should hold on well enough and now it's a nice, uh, comes to a point. I'm going to go pull on the other end and we'll see what happens over here. I just saw the tape, so that means we got the wires coming. There we go. I'm over at this LB and I'm pulling on this webbing to get the wires to go up into that LB. You can see that going up there. Now that I've reached that tape, I'm gonna have to feed it in. I have to pull both sides here. <laughs> so you go in there as I'm pulling on that. Nice. So it looks like this is plenty of wire on this side to get me to the uh, up here to the charge controller. Yeah, see, I got tons. So I think I had measured it out at like 98 feet, but I bought 104 feet uh, 
just to be absolutely sure. Worst thing would be to be like six inches short. So looks like we have plenty of extra over here too. Well there we have it. Plenty of wire on both sides. We're ready to do the, uh, the hookup. So uh, next video will probably be uh, wiring up the circuit breakers in the combiner box outside by the array. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.